Here at the Museum of Lancashire, we have many fascinating glimpses of how life used to be in the northwest. The museum gives us impressions of life in Lancashire over many years and how it's changed and developed over the decades. Here in this classroom, we're reminded of how education used to be. Rows of desks and pupils working on slates. In the technology visible is the electric light, not a computer in sight. Adapting to changes in society and in the world can be a difficult thing for many people to face. The one thing that the church and the world of education cannot afford to do is to stand still and let these changes pass them by. Coping with change can be difficult. The key to doing change well is good, positive and collaborative leadership. It's not about one person doing it all, but a committed, united team working together for the best outcome. Leaders don't ignore change or pretend it isn't happening. Nor do they put on those little spectacles and look longingly back to the glory days. Leaders rise to the challenge of change. They work creatively with others. They consult widely and communicate well, and they can change and adapt their plans as circumstances develop. In our amazing network of church schools, we need to continue to develop and encourage teachers with strong Christian commitment and a desire to offer children and young people the very best experience of education and learning. Here in the museum we have lots of examples of our industrial heritage, in particular the place of cotton and the cotton mills within our county. Over the years some traditional industries have declined, whilst other new industries have developed. We want missional leaders, both lay and ordained, to work collaboratively in all our local parish churches. The picture in the Bible of the church as the body of Christ is a wonderful illustration of people working together to use their gifts and abilities to build the Kingdom of God. Who in your church may have a vocation to be a priest, a youth or children's worker, a reader, a teacher or any of the other ministries? In days gone by, much greater numbers of people went to church. People grew up with an experience of worship and a basic understanding of the Christian faith. Today the picture is very different. We live in a society where many people have almost no experience of church or Christian worship. Nowadays, most people know very little about the person of Jesus. It's easy to look back nostalgically at the good old days, or to blame schools for not teaching Christianity. But the responsibility of helping people to become followers of Jesus rests on us, the members of the church. In order to grow the church, it's important that we vary the patterns of worship Sunday and midweek in order to welcome all kinds of people, especially the newcomer. Research has shown that over 80% of people who are committed followers of Christ have made that faith commitment by the age of 20. Therefore, it's important that the diocese focus on young people, on schools and on children to create a new generation for Christ.
Museum of Lancashire has provided us with a nostalgic look back on life in the North West. As we look forward to Vision 2026, growing leaders for Jesus Christ, ensures that the Christian faith has a bright future in Lancashire.